What's going on guys? Skyer from Tech Today back with another video. In today's video, we have a full review for you guys of the ZNT Nightlight. So as you guys can see here, I have a cat nightlight, which is pretty cool, guys. Uh, I want to real quickly send a big shout out to ZNT for sending this out for review. We greatly appreciate it, guys. And here you go, guys. That's what it looks like when it's really dark. I'll show you guys in a minute what it really looks like to give you guys a, a great idea. But um, first off, I want to tell you guys, I've been using this thing for a while now. And it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, you know, I haven't really used it much as a nightlight, as much as something that's just here to use. Um, it's kind of fun, to be honest. It's kind of unique. Uh, I've enjoyed playing around with it and just hanging out with it. It's really nothing special other than a nightlight. Now, when they offered to send this out for review, I was at first a little skeptical, to be honest with you guys, or a little like, hmm, do I really do this? Mainly because most of our reviews are technology-related. They're never really... Um, something like this, but we felt like since we wanted to change it up a little bit, uh, why not give another perspective, if you will, another kind of review. Uh, so here's the product itself, as you guys can see here, it's the ZNT Nightlight for Kids, as you can all see. Um, let's see, it's the Breathing Light, uh, Children's Nightlight, uh, with unique breathing mode, up to 24 hours of playtime. And the price of it is only 17 bucks, so it's not even that bad. Um, you know, the features are, it's really just a nightlight. Nothing special, nothing unique about it. It's a nightlight. Um, you know, it's called Mo. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, 24 hours, it works on. And I, I, haven't, I haven't, I've never charged this thing. So if that gives you guys an idea, <laughs> I have never had to charge this, um, this nightlight. Um, nothing special about it other than it lights up, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to show you guys that real quick. There's off mode. Let me just show you guys this. Apologize for the camera angle. There you go. It's off right now. And when you hit it again, or now it's off. When you hit it, it's on. You do this again. It, it dims. Let me turn it off again. It turns off completely. So now let me show you guys that in a real world uh, scenario in this case. Let me turn off my light. All right, so I want to try turning off all the lights. So with that being said, um, I can't really turn off everything because of the light on the camera itself, but or else you guys wouldn't be able to see anything, but I'll, I'll dim everything. All right, now let's try it once. You just hit it. And now that's at, that's at its lightest mode. And it's actually pretty bright. When it's in a dark scenario, it gets pretty bright for the most part. It's not quiet at all. Um, and to be honest with you, it looks quite cool. Um, you know, I'm not disappointed at all in it, but then when you hit it again, it dims a little bit. All right, so now this is at like really a dim state. And what's really cool about this, it actually changes its light mode. So as you guys can see here, the screen's flickering a little bit. That is because it changes. It goes from like a lowest point to a highest point. So it kind of goes from, it's not really low necessarily, but it goes from the highest or the brightest to the lowest. It kind of automatically does it, which is quite cool. And then when you do it again, it just shuts off completely and there you go. Now on the bottom, as you guys can see, there, if I can get that into focus for you guys, there is two buttons on here. Or there's two different scenarios. There's a button right here to power on and off, and right here is the micro USB cable where you would charge it. Uh, charging, I never had to charge it with, I never once. So, if that tells you anything, there you go. But um, it's quite cool to be honest. And here's a little sticker if that makes any difference for you guys. The Mo Breathing Light by ZNT, and the power on it is 2,000 milliamps. So. It definitely will last a while. It's on right now. Let me just turn it off. There we go. It's off now. Um, it's quite cool. It's something very different, I'd say. I mean, I have never reviewed anything like this. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward for the most part. Um, you, you tap on it, and it lights up right there. Tap on it again. It dims. So it, it, And then it dims, and then you tap it again, and it shuts off completely. So let me turn on the light again. Let me turn it back on. All right, so everything's back on. I mean, realistically, who is this for? This is more than likely, obviously, for kids. For those that would want a nightlight, if you will, but you don't want anything plugged in because I know there's people that don't want their anything plugged in at night, and there's some people that do. It don't, doesn't really make a difference. But if you're one of those people that don't want anything on at night, this would be your answer. In my personal opinion, I think this would be a great scenario, a great option for you. Uh, like I said, for 17 bucks, really, I mean... Do I recommend it? I mean, if you're a kid or if you're a parent looking for something 
to amuse your kid a little bit. I think it's pretty cool. If, if anything, for, at least for me, you know, I, I honestly don't need a nightlight, of course, but um, for me personally, it's kind of fun just to play around with, just to see. It's kind of like a little figure that just stays in the house and hangs out for the rest of the day. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to deny that. It's something quite interesting, to say the least. And I apologize for the focus issues. I don't know what the issue is. It's just because all the lighting changes. I think that's part of it. But I do want to apologize for any lighting issues or any autofocus problems. That would be the reason why. <laughs> but, um, I mean, at the end of the day, do you get this? Like I said, if you're a parent looking for something for your kid, I'd say go for it. Like I said, it lights up. It's pretty cool. There you go. That's what it looks like when it's lit, lit up. All right, so there you go. It's lit up right now. It looks cool. It's something that's pretty cool, to be honest. But uh, even if you just want to have it in the house, it's still there. It's still pretty cool. It has a little tail at the back, as you guys can see. Uh, one thing that's kind of funny that I like to do is deflate the thing. It can deflate pretty easily. But um, as you guys can see, it, there's a light inside. But it also goes right back up when you just have to remove this little part. And it kind of inflates. It's breathing. That's exactly what it means. It's breathing. Um... So, ultimately, it's pretty cool. I would recommend picking it up. I mean, even if you just want to use it just to look at it, it's pretty cool, to be honest. I'm not going to complain. Uh, thank you again to ZNT for saying stuff for review. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video because it helps us out a ton. Don't, uh, don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what suggestions you have for future videos. And subscribe for more content just like this. You can check out our website at techlifteco.com for more techniques just like this. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash techlifteco. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and like us on stream. And um, it's all at Tech Update Co. And then the stream is at Tech. And like I said, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.